Hey guys, did you miss me? I hope so. I've been extremely busy with school, 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 and a lot of stuff. So yes, I'm coming at you guys with a Palmer's Clay Creations update. I made a whole bunch of new stuff. I just, some of it's not glazed, some of it is. I've had a hard time getting the glaze that I love. But, so anyways, let's jump right into it. The first thing I'm going to show you is a statue that I've made. This here is the dragon. Yes, Teely, they can hear you. So this here is a purple dragon. I tried my sh hand at shading techniques. He's on just a simple black base. Woo! You guys almost fell over there. I'm terribly sorry about that. So he's on a black base. I've added some glitter inside the Palmer's clay just to make it pretty. Look at his big bulbous head. He has lots of specks because sadly my, um glaze was not clean and the brush wasn't clean so it gave him a whole bunch of little specks like that smudge right there but I think he turned out really really cute my first ever statue look at him oh he is just so cute fits in the palm of your hand so yes on the camera he looks purple but he's not the next thing I made with these two macaroons so the first thing is I made a little Hello Kitty macaroon. There's great tutorials. Um, Max Moocher, I think, does one. And My Petite Cakes, I think it is. So I made myself a Hello Kitty. I love how, it, how this came out. So cute. Shh. Sorry. The next thing I made here is a red macaroon with little cocos and a piece of chocolate on it. They look so yummy. My first ever macaroons, and I think they turned out really, really good. All right. The next thing I made here, I've been wanting to do statues for a while or busts, but I cannot find water-based clay for the life of me. So I tried to make a devil out of Palmer's clay. Let me know what you guys think about this one. This one was extremely hard to do. The ears look like crap. Sorry. But... For me, it's extremely hard to do because it's not even the palm of your hand. It's so tiny. His back, not too good. I think about putting him on a magnet and just having him out like that. He's creepy. Look at that face. It took me forever. Mm, sorry. So, yeah. I tried to take my hand to statue since I can't find any water-based clay. Um, the next thing. i got a whole bunch of stuff here. Let's go with the Hello Kitty Cream Puffs. So I made a big one and a tiny one. Let's start with the tiny one. So the tiny one just has chocolate filling. Very textured. I'm very surprised how textured it came out and shaded. I just use eyeshadow. I don't have any um, pastels. They're too, way too expensive. So chocolate filled like that. The next one I added a face. I don't know why. I just wanted to. Just for emphasis, still textured. Not textured. A little bit textured on the bottom shaded. It just looks so yummy. I just want to eat it. Just eat it. Eat, sorry. The um, Weird Al Yankovic song. <coughs> sorry guys, I'm really sick. So I'm just trying to, you know, get through life as possible. So along with my dragon statue, I made my mom a cute little dragon. Green with glitter shinies on his horns. He's sitting on a shiny egg, if that's what you're wondering what that is. With a cute little crystal on there. So yeah, that's him. She doesn't like it too much, but I love him. He's a very cute little dragon. Next thing I made was a little, little dragon. These things are really tiny. He's holding a gem. I want to make him onto a ring or something. Like a ring base to put like, like that. Still glittery on his horns. Shaded on the back. Look at how cool he is. Very nice. And then my favorite is this blue one. Because I don't know why I just like blue. He has glitter, pardon me, glittery tips and glittery horns. Shiny back. He's different than my other dragons. So yeah, he just sits like that. And to compare to my finger, he's extremely tiny. So I love those. Um, I'm going to rush a little bit here. I made an Anubis chibi. He's a little bit big. I made a little, little miniature one for my friends. It turned out very cute. His ears are a little bit big, but I don't care. I still love him none the least. He needs to be glazed. Like I said, a lot of these aren't glazed because I need to get new glaze. Then I made from Maxi Moocher 
I think it is, or My Petite Cakes. I know someone does this. I can't remember. I'm sorry. A little piping bag with some drizzle coming out of it. Then I made me some uh, to-go box or a bento box attempt. attempt. So we got the um, glitter, which is the two sauces. Then we got noodles, and we got some bread. And yet again, I'm sorry, my glaze was chunky, and it just looked totally terrible. Got some of that right there. I'm so mad. But yes, that's one of them. Zombie cupcake. His brains. He turned out so cute. Another one that I need to glaze. Um, a chocolate walrus. I think still needs to be glazed. I need to finish his face and everything. But I just think he's cute. I'm so mad these ice creams turned out so good. Except... It fell over in some paint. Blah! But yes, with some glaze on top. I just use Elmer's glue and a certain, um, I forgot what it is. Paint and Elmer's glue for the sauce. Sushi platter. Nothing special about that sushi platter. Um, a chip salsa bowl. Yet again, it's all yucky because simple fact of the dang glaze. But I think it turned out okay. Then this one's not glazed for obvious purposes. A noodle bowl with some sushi and some chopsticks. Yes, Teely, we hear you. Um, kitty tart. Punch and pie, puss and pie, I guess it is. So cute. Shiny, too. I made some bread. Nothing special about it. Just bread. Um, then I made, like, this little, I guess, deco den waffle platter pretty oh I'm going on seven minutes here I'm sorry I made a to-go container like I said a lot of this stuff still needs to be glazed cookies cookie pendant nothing too special then I made these Mickey Mouse things also from Maxi Moocher I believe it is so there it is the donuts because I had to do it I just love it so much I love the way Minnie turned out so pretty then I made some co a cookie with the texturing on the back and some sauce. All right, almost done, guys. Sorry. I made a whole bunch of bubble teas, just so you can see yellow, purple, blue, orange. And some of them have little things on the back. Or we'll tell you what they are. All right, and then I made some earrings. These ones are humongous. If I make them again, they're going to be different. So, yes. Some earrings. These here are the chain chomps. On your ear, they're very bulbous. I'm going to make them smaller because I just learned how to make them, so now I'm going to make them very small. So, yeah. Chain chomp earrings. So much fun. Made some bread. Bread on a stand. Loaves of bread. Then I made some zombie cupcake earrings. Look at them. They're so cute. Some big chocolate cupcake earrings. They are earrings. Um, star earrings. Sorry if I'm going to go fast. I don't want to go over a certain time. Cookie earrings that are, well, just cookie hearts. Then I made cupcake earrings again. So, yes, that's all of my Palmer Clay creations update if you guys like please subscribe to all my subbies Mwah. thanks for giving me the time of day love you guys let me know what you guys think i'm thinking about opening an etsy shop i really am thinking about it i kind of want to what no sorry kind of do kind of don't let me know if you guys what you guys think because i'm i'm debating okay guys see you next time i get on youtube goodbye